Question 166. In order for cells to form a tissue, they must have different membrane potentials, have different membrane proteins, recognize one another and share similar origin, perform different functions. Cells of a tissue are similar in many kinds. That's why they clump together to make a tissue. The cells of same tissue would have same membrane potentials. They would also have similar or same membrane proteins. Recognize one another and share similar origin. That is true. They recognize one another. That's also true. And that's how they form layers of cells to form a tissue. Perform different functions? No, they perform same functions. Have different membrane potential is wrong. Have different membrane proteins is also wrong. Recognize one another. That is true. And different functions is wrong. The correct answer here is option number three. Question 167. Glandular tissue is usually a modified type of connective tissue, epithelial tissue, neural tissue, muscular tissue. Students, glandular tissue are specialized for secretion. Some of the columnar or cuboidal cells get specialized for secretion. So they are columnar or cuboidal cells and we know these cells are part of epithelial tissue. Thus the correct answer here would be epithelial tissue. Answer is 2. 168. An organ such as heart comprises muscular tissue, neural tissue, connective tissue, epithelial tissue. Select the correct option A and B, A, B, C, D and A, B, C and D. Let's look at option 1. Muscular tissue. Yes, that's present in a heart in the form of myocardium. B option neural tissue that is also present for regulation of heart activity. Option C connective tissue. Yes, it is present in the form of say pericardium which is the outer layer of heart and epithelial tissue is also present in the heart say lining of heart. So all types of tissue given are present in the heart. The correct option here would be option number 4 A, B, C and D. Answer is 4. Question 169. Select the type of tissue that generally helps change the diameter of blood vessels. Areolar tissue, muscular tissue, adipose tissue, epithelial tissue. In the wall of blood vessels, there is a layer called muscularis layer present. It possesses the feature of contractility and thus it is able to change the diameter of a blood vessel. It can decrease also and it can increase also depending upon the need of the body. So muscular tissue is the tissue which brings on the changes in the diameter of a blood vessels. The correct answer here is 2. Question 170. Specialized connective tissue present in the tip of nose is also found in outer ear joints, nasal septum, tendon, ligaments. The question is reading specialized connective tissue. There are three types of specialized connective tissue mentioned in the NCRT. Those are B, B, C, bone, blood, and cartilage. You can remember them as the special broadcast of BBC. And the tissue they are asking is about tip of the nose. So tip of the nose has elastic cartilage. And among the following options, elastic cartilage is present in outer ear joints. 
whereas the nasal septum has hyaline cartilage. And tendon and ligaments are dense regular connective tissue. So the correct answer here would be option 1.